So YouTuber Dan Brown recently had a discussion with his audience about girls. Because like me, he has a majority male audience. And while his audience is usually progressive on social issues, he noticed a particular pushback whenever he discussed women. And I sometimes see this in my audience as well. Like a lot of people disagree with me on the gender pay gap video, for example. And some of you have argued that the issue of women being disadvantaged is sort of overblown in general. Now Dan is a better man than I because I refuse to sit here and try to convince you that certain groups, including women, are marginalized in our society. Because I feel like that's obvious if you're listening and actually paying attention. But maybe Dan doesn't quite feel that way. In his video, he suggests that white men and presumably anybody in a position of privilege are ignorant. Not willfully, but inevitably. Which is true to some extent, but I wonder how much of that ignorance is actually willful and is actually inevitable. I can't help but notice that a lot of the pushback that occurs when we're discussing women is almost directly in opposition to the feminists, which for me kind of sets off my bullshit detector. I read a lot of comments like this on Dan's videos and I see it on my videos a lot too. It's kind of an ad hominem, like you see people say, I don't really like modern feminists. They're mean. Okay, that's an oversimplification, but for example, in Dan's video, Let's Talk About Girls, if I'm not mistaken, he doesn't use the word feminist or feminism at all in the video. Yet, when you look at the comments of that video, you're seeing a lot of people saying things like, here's what I don't like about feminism. It's almost like we have a war between people who want to proudly identify as feminist and people who get a sour taste in their mouth just upon hearing the word. But we're not here to talk about the word feminism. We're not here to even talk about the concepts or theory of feminism. We're here to to talk about real actual shit that is actually going down in these streets and either you agree that these things are happening and I would hope that if you do agree that these things are happening you also agree that these things suck and we should try to fix them or maybe you don't agree these things are happening maybe you don't agree that women are marginalized maybe you don't agree that men are privileged and like I said I'm not particularly interested in trying to change your mind about that specifically however if you're like me and you value being decent and compassionate and thoughtful one of the things you ought to do is listen. Listen to people. You know how I know catcalling is a real thing? You know how I know that a lot of women don't like it? How I know that it can range from being super annoying to super terrifying? It's not because I do it or because I see people doing it all the time. It's because women told me about it and I listen. It's been said that one in five women will be raped in their lifetime and a lot of people dispute that statistic. They're like, it's overblown. The studies weren't done right. And even to me, in my mind, that number sounds way too high to be true. But you know why I can believe it? Because women have shared their stories and I listen. See, here's the the thing, there are other people in the world besides you. I know it's kind of a hard pill to swallow. And they all have different experiences and they all have stories. And if you actually take the time to listen, you start hearing the same stories over and over again. And like I've said in other videos, it's not like all women or all black people or all gay people just got into like a Skype call together and decided to just fabricate their experience. And look, it is a two-sided thing. Sometimes people use ineffective or improper ways of telling their stories, but that doesn't invalidate them or make them not exist. Like just because you don't like Anita Sarkeesian's video doesn't mean sexism isn't real. My problem with modern feminism, bruh, nobody gives a shit doesn't matter. Whether or not modern feminism is effective or ineffective as a movement has no bearing on the fact that these people exist and their stories are real. So yes, yeah, some measure of ignorance is inevitable. I'll never fully know what it's like to be a woman or to be transgender or to be gay, but I can choose to listen to the stories of the people who do have those experiences and start knocking away at some of that ignorance. That's just me though. Now this is an ongoing discussion, so feel free to continue it in the comments. If you're not already subscribed to Dan Brown, you should to do that. He makes video blogs similar to mine, except better. I want to go ahead and give a shout out to all of the new subscribers. How you doing? If you like the video, please press the thumbs up button and subscribe if you like my hair. What's been going on with you the past few months? Not a whole lot. A whole lot of Facebook and video games. Boxers or briefs? Boxers all day. What are some things on your bucket list? Going to the Louvre in Paris and also going to WrestleMania. What are some of your favorite things to cook? The only thing that I can cook that's not a disaster is omelet.